Okay, welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy. <laughs> I always expect there to be a, another part to that, but no, it, it's Final Fantasy on the Game Boy Advance. Um, last time we headed into the Cave of Earth, or the Earth Cave, some might call it. Um, we kicked a vampire's ass, kicked it hard. He only had 280 HP. Which, the last boss we fought had like 420, so he went down. Uh, I think he had more offensive abilities, but still, it was just a joke. It's like three hits. Um, and so we got the Star Ruby, which we need to take over to this cave, the Giant's Cave, in order to do stuff, in order to go back to the Earth Cave and continue downwards and so on and so forth. Um... First of all, I think this walkthrough that I'm using, even though it's it's listed under Dawn of Souls, it says, you know, Game Boy Advance, all that, it seems like it's for this version of the game. There are things that are not accurate. For one, it, it even mentions at this point using Teleport, which is a level, uh, level 5 spell. And as you can see, Ziggy can learn level 5 black magic however teleport in this version is restricted to a black wizard not a black mage just this, this confused me at first and i had to look it up to figure out what, what, what what's going on and i don't know all the differences between black mage and black wizard but specifically you cannot learn the teleport or the exit spells until you've advanced to another class and the way you do that is like much much later on like way later on uh you can become a black wizard and it seems like what people are saying is like they almost specifically did this just for the teleport reason um because i guess in the original version you could use teleport or exit to like bypass parts of a later dungeon or something like that i don't know i did not get specifics um, but they must have decided they wanted to fix that, so you cannot learn teleport for a long time. Which is a bummer, because that does save a lot of time. Um, so for now we will have to deal without it. So, uh, I did do a bunch of grinding though, you see we're all at 28. Um, interestingly, the white mage gets far more HP than almost any other class. <laughs> Um, compared to the Black Mage, it's, it's a crazy amount of more HP. Um, almost as much as a similar leveled warrior. Um, which is fine with me, I guess. Um, the main reason I did a lot of grinding, though, was for money. As you can see, I did buy the, uh, the Knight's Armor, which cost 36000 I bought all the spells, everything I needed. Um, but soon, uh, after the Cave of Earth, we're going to be going on to a new city, uh, and that has just a crap ton of new stuff to buy, uh, including all the level 6 spells, which cost 13,000 each, so I wanted, the, they recommended at least, like, 52,000, uh, gold just for spells so I wanted to have plenty of money so 91,000 we're gonna get some more as we go on so let's get to it you have star ruby give me star ruby and I let you pass let me throw in his face wow look at that rock ass crunch munch mmm nothing tastier than rubies Hmm. Okay. Great axe. She got a great axe. Uh, and some money and a mithril helm. Boom. Done. Uh, I did go back to the Chaos Shrine uh, in order to get the items there. The Rune Blade and the Wear 
the wear beater breaker whatever it was both were swords for the warrior that were worse than I already had um, but the rune blade deals bonus damage to spellcasters and the wear whatever deals bonus damage to wolves um, but I think having a better weapon overall is uh, is just a better idea than having a sometimes really good weapon. So, I'll stick for the really good weapons. I did discover that you can just hold down the A button during combat, and that will just auto target and auto attack pretty much. Uh, I'm probably gonna forget about it plenty of times though because I'm not used to it. I'm used to just mashing the button. But it does speed things up I suppose. Sage's Cave. Pops. There we go, there's the Sage. Sada. So you are the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? But he was only a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks far deeper within the cavern. Here, take this staff with you and use it behind the vampire's chamber. Oh. You obtain the earth rod. Alright, that's it. Now we have to go all the way back. Exciting! It's a very, uh... It's a very chill kind of game, I guess. You know, you don't you don't have to think about too much that's happening. You just uh, keep walking. You you press the A button once in a while. You're just running around. It's unlikely that you're just gonna die in a combat. That you know, I'm powerful enough where it's just whatever. They're doing just one damage even to my thief at this point. But. Yep, and then you get ambushed, so you have to go through all the attack animations. I mean, that's where it's just kind of nice to have uh, a fast-forward button. And it's like, you know, I, I like grinding. I mean, I could grind for a couple hours pretty easily. Um, but there's a time for grinding, and there's a time for actually getting shit done. And so having, you know, all these battles when I want to get shit done, it, it's like conflict. You, you don't want it, and it's just no good. It's like taking a big dump, you know, that, that can be a good experience. And eating a great meal can be a good experience, but eating a good meal while you're taking a dump, I, I wouldn't go for that. That's what I'm saying. Lesser Tiger is the first time I've seen that. Oh, see ya. You can figure, <laughs> you can figure out which part is the uh, the taking dump, I suppose. Um, I did utilize the, uh, the western part over there for grinding. That's where I did all my grinding. For some reason, yeah, it's really strange. You're walking along and then suddenly, just in this little, like, hallway, it's a dead end, but there's this little passage there where every step you take puts you in a fight every time. It's really weird, but 
It's a good grinding spot. It's like they knew they needed to put in a good grinding spot. I actually think the maps... Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if the maps for the NES are accurate. I think so. I think I can probably follow this map. It's just the graphics are wildly different, so it kind of throws you off. Like, I think, like, all these rocks that you're seeing are really... In the original version, they're just more walls. But they decided to... flavor it up. Poison. Uh, I'm wondering if the HP cap is 999 or 9,999. Uh, depending on the game, they switch it up. And later games in the series let you uh, sort of break the cap. Final Fantasy X, you can break the cap to go to... 99,999 if you want to. Uh, usually that's not necessary, though. Um, if it's 999, we're, like, halfway there. Which is pretty crazy. Since we're level 30, which, you know, I, I'm assuming the level cap is 99, so the numbers don't exactly add up. But if it's 9,999, then there's no way we're going to get to that number. So, I, I don't know. Not that that always needs to line up smoothly. It's just, I usually like it when it does. Oh, boy. Actually, hold on. We, we, we can have, uh, have Dia come out. Diaga. Diaga. It was not diarrhea. It became Diaga. Oh! Boom! Get wrecked. We're almost there. Werewolf. Don't poison me, bro. Oh my god. Ziggy's just beating you over the skull. I'm not exactly certain of the thief's, like, purpose as far as a class is concerned. Um, he does slightly more damage than the warrior uh, on any given turn. But, since the warrior gets far more HP and defensive capabilities, it seems like a better bet to just have two warriors. But that's just my limited experience. Perhaps the thief gets better? I mean, the, the progression of this game seems very linear and, and simple. So, I don't know. I don't know the purpose of the thief. But, he does, you know, we get a lot of thief items that he uses, so go ahead. We're gonna be moving on to the fourth level. I just wanna. We can find 11,000 gill and a staff. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. And that's. How do we get there? Okay, I'm just gonna follow the map. Maps are better. I can visualize. There we go. 
Let's check our HP. Pretty good. We'll just give everybody a Hilara. I don't think that's ever been used again. Maybe in 2 and 3. Okay, good, good, good. Save it up. We've been playing for 17 hours. That's not an accurate number because I'm sure I left it running, so subtract like, I don't know, 12 from that number. <laughs> uh, okay, we're heading up and then up and then here and here and here and here. See, maps are good. Um, haste, uh, which is a, a black mage spell in this game. Normally, it's um, normally it's a white mage or a time mage or something like that kind of spell, but it's a black mage spell here. I think they gave it to white mages. For one, because it's a support ability. Really, it should be, but also because white mages sometimes don't have enough to do, especially at the start of combat when nobody's injured, so it, it really makes more sense. Oh, we got Ogre Mages, Ogre Chief, and Hyenadon. What the hell? Give everybody uh Here, we'll silence them all so they can't cast. Uh, I have Scourge, which instantly kills all foes, but what are the odds I would actually... Why not? What, what else have I got to do with life? I don't think this fight's gonna be that tricky, but here you go. Scourge. Miss. Dead. Hey, 50%'s not bad. Alright, so he casts Blink, which means... Uh, his evasion is higher, so we'll see if our warrior misses. Even though he's using an axe, which should have lower accuracy, he still hits just fine. Staff. We're gonna have to do a fight for every single one of these chests, which is not really ideal. And we went sort of our, out of our way to get here to this room, so... But, money's worth it, I suppose. It'll save us some grinding. Oh my god, you hit him for one damage? You fiend! Yeah, we're, we're probably a little over-leveled. Sphinx. So that's what I want, just a single tougher enemy. Give me that, that that's a lot faster. Oh shit, I fucked up. Well, I should be able to get both of them from here. Well, that was overkill. I didn't divide it properly. I'm a scrub. Bumped us up to 116,000 now. That's pretty good. And of course, I had to step on that. I wonder if we can flee from this. Oh, you can't, even though that's a like a pitched battle. But this one we can't run from, of course. You can beat on the warrior all day. It's not going to happen. I don't think we can flee from this for some weird reason. Maybe it's specifically Pisco Demons. I don't know. Unfortunately, my white mage can heal everyone for days, so I think we'll be okay. All right, we're going through here. We want to go... Yeah, we want to keep going uh, northwest.
Just keep running. We're plenty powerful to beat the boss. Okay. Good. B5. Let's see what's here. It's pretty short. Doesn't seem like there's a single chest here, so we just have to follow the map. Pretty short. There's no enemies even? That's pretty crazy. Oh, I lied. I just got insanely lucky, I guess. Wow. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Hilara. Alright, then go to cure to top some of these boys off you know how she does save it up let's do it who speaks to me oh huh? <laughs> now that's a real looking boss I am he who feeds on the power of Earth. I will not be disturbed by mortal men. I am the Lich, Fiend of Earth. I would not have expected the Fiend of Earth to be a Lich, but look at that. Now, see, that's just gorgeous to me. I, I love that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let's let's see about the Lich here. He has 1,200 HP. Now, that's, that's more proper. Uh, still probably a little weak, but we'll see. Um, he's weak to fire, and of course he is undead, so he can do all that. Um, so this is normally, see, this is where I would haste my, my thief, or my warrior, but instead we're gonna just do Diaga, and we could haste, or we could use Fyraga, probably the same thing, either way, really. I think magic will probably end up being the better bet. Yeah, I think this is mostly going to be a magic fight. He is a lich, after all. So, all we have to do is just keep Diag up, Fyrog up, and kick his ass. Wait, he doesn't even hurt that much. It is funny, though. I'm casting Fyraga already. It feels like I have not played this game for very long at all. And down goes the Lich. Pretty simple. Not even... I didn't even get a level up from that. That's, that's impressive. Oh... So we showed our crystal to the earth crystal. <laughs> and then they all dance. And that's that. Oh, the earth gift shrine. Uh, okay, so it says you also unlock the earth gift shrine a soul of chaos dungeon that you may be able to proceed through right now except for the bosses Hmm, and uh, there is a warp zone here Very handy. This will take you right out of the dungeon. Thank goodness for that All right, that was uh, section three done according to this guide. So now we move on to powering up the fire crystal So let's head back to town Slowly, but surely. I don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going. See, this is why you look at the map. The map will guide you.
Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, we're just gonna hop straight on our boat and sail on to sail away, you might say, to the new land. All right, now what it says is to go to the southern tip of this peninsula, this one right here, and then sail west to get to a dock. Okay, now let me just clarify, because the map... Okay, all right, I see. We have to go around a winding forest, but uh, we're actually wrapping around the map in order to get to our destination. Again, I, I don't know how you'd really figure this out, but all right. I think you just explore a lot. You you waste... You probably... I don't know how people playing this game aren't over-leveled if they don't use a walkthrough, because they're just wandering everywhere, fighting everything. So, it seems pretty impressive. But now we got trolls. Look at that. They're terrifying looking. Beat them. Oh, and they deal some good damage. Alright, another shot. Oh, I didn't finish my statements about haste. So, uh, in games, later games, when they put in the active uh, time battle, which is where you, each character sort of has a, a moving gauge uh, that when it fills up, they get to take their turn. And so, different, uh, you know, there's usually like a speed attribute that determines how uh, quickly the bar fills. They can be slowed uh, so their bar doesn't fill as fast. They can be paralyzed or whatever, stopped. Uh, so it stops entirely. And haste uh, makes the bar fill faster, giving you more turns. Well, in this game, the turns are very uh, binary, I guess. It's... it's all of your characters turns in order and then it's all the enemies turns in order pretty much um, and so what haste does is it gives your character more attacks so you can see there it says seven hit that means they did seven hits on their turn uh, whereas haste will like double that to 14 so it basically doubles their damage output uh, which is pretty good the real bummer is, of course, the just utter lack of variety. Your your fighters and your thieves, and probably your monks as well, they, they get to hit one button. They, they're attacking. That's it. No choice. They are attacking. Maybe they'll use an item, but that's usually not necessary. All right, so we are here in Crescent Lake. That is the name of the town for some reason, but okay. And we are going to buy some spells, probably some weapons. Uh, and we'll drop by the item shop as well, just in case. It's been a while since I bought some items. So let's buy a few high potions, uh, a few ethers, phoenix downs, because I specifically, I did not learn the life spell because really none of my characters ever die, but if they do, Phoenix Sounds are just a better option. Uh, tents, I have plenty, so I guess that's about it. They no longer sell antidotes. All right, armor. We want a mithril shield. We want a buckler. And Mithril Gloves. Really not many. Armor really is only for the warrior and sometimes the thief. Very rarely do any mages get to wear armor. Which again is a very D&D type thing. I didn't know the series was inspired so much by Los Dungeonos. Y Dragonos. That's probably not accurate. Uh, all right, so the guide suggests for White Mage picking up Proterra and Invisera. 
which raises your party evasion and raises your party's defense. Um, and here you can see exit. If you look at the other spells, it's for white mage, red wizard, white wizard. But you go to exit, it's only red wizard and white wizard. So, like I said. Um, I guess that makes sense. Uh, buffing uh, the entire party with a single spell is usually a, a good way to go. Can't go wrong. For black mage, it recommends uh, Thundaga and Death instantly kills one foe now interestingly of course scourge was his level five spell kills all foes death is a single foe i'm assuming death has a much higher rate of success um i'm surprised he doesn't recommend quake over death i don't know how often i'd really use death but we definitely want thundaga um, we'll take it just because we have money. We, I mean, we really don't need Quake, but it's interesting. All right, uh, we're going to take the Mithril Axe because it has the highest damage. It's 25 attack compared to 23. Uh, aside from that, there's really not many upgrades to talk about. Ooh, look at that. That's, that's hot. A lot of Mithril. Uh, ba, ba, ba. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. We're done. Oh. <laughs> That's very random, but okay. You need to go up here, over here, down here, <laughs> over here, and uh, I am Lucan. Hey. I see a cycle of wrath. A dim light guided by destiny. That about which our entire future revolves. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we need to talk to one of these specifically. I don't know which one. Oh, there it was. He gave me a fucking canoe. He gave me a canoe! I have no idea why, but we got a canoe. All right, that's uh, that's it for Crescent Lake. Nice little town, very peaceful. I don't know why they have a circle of weird mages that have canoes, but living in their woods. All right, so now that we have a canoe, um, we can go straight into uh, shallow water here that's not part of the ocean, so that's pretty good. Um, we need to go to Mount Golg, which is the, uh, the volcano. I don't know if there's battles in this water. If not, this is the best way to travel. We have to go all the way around. All the way around. There's battles on the canoe, even though it puts us on a shore. Oh, Ochu! Wow! Holy shit, I did not expect to see Ochus. Like, the only game that I've seen those in are Final Fantasy X. I'm curious on which other ones they're in. Uh, it's in the first one. It's in Final Fantasy VII as an exclusive enemy to the Battle Square. It's called a Hochu. Um, it's in eight. 9, 10, 12. 13. Oh, so... That's kind of interesting. It was in the first game, and then they forgot about it for quite a while, and then they're like, oh, we'll throw in it as an exclusive thing in the Battle Square. But they call it a Hochu. And then after that, they're like, oh, you know, Ochus are pretty cool. Let's keep using them. Um, yeah, I really only remember from 10, because... That's sort of where I last left off with the series. Um, I, I, well, I really remember from 10 because I remember them being a big pain in the ass in the early parts. Uh, but, wow, Final Fantasy 1 had Ochus. 
See, we're learning stuff. We're learning stuff by doing this series. It's great. All right, so we're here. Let me consult the map. We just, oh, well, it's pretty simple. We just gotta sail over there. Boom, Mount Golg. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, in Mount Golg, there are floors of lava. With each step, your entire party will lose one HP. This will really accumulate as this dungeon has a lot of lava. All right, so what I really need to consider here is if there are any treasure chests worth picking up. Um... There's only one, and that is the ice, the ice brand on the fourth level. All right, everything else is pretty much just money and things that we can buy with money, so that does not appeal to me. So, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get a proper map. We got to prepare for this. And then, okay. So in the NES version, it's called the Gurgu Volcano. That's weird. We're gonna save. So yeah, we can walk across lava, but it, it hurts a little bit. All right, that was the first level. The second level. Oh, the second level is very simple. That's the second level. That was not going to be a big problem. Alright, third level. All that northern part of the, the, the second one just has a lot of like little gold chests. Well, this is interesting. Third level is a little interesting. All right, we just... Well, we finally get an enemy. Hellhound! Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Levels up. Levels up. All right, that's the uh, third level. So now fourth level. Okay, so it's actually kind of interesting. First, um, we actually go back up to the third level. We do a different area of the third level, and then we go back down to the fourth level, and that's where we have to look for the chest. Okay, so now we're on the third level. We're going this way. Pyrolisk. Cool. This place doesn't seem too bad at all. You gotta deal with some lava, but who cares about that? I mean, come on, ogre mages. You think I'm sweating that? Boom! All right, fourth level now. Here we go. I gotta look. So we need to go... It's actually kind of interesting. How... What the hell? I don't even see the ch stair. Oh, I see the stairs. Okay. All right. Um. This. Oh, I was looking at the wrong stairs. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah, we don't want to go. I mean, there are chests in every room here, but we really don't want to go into any of them because 
you have to do a battle for each chest, which is really obnoxious. So we have to do enough battles as it is. And especially when this chest will contain uh, a gold needle. Like, I don't... That's not high on my list of priorities. Uh, okay, I think we would just want to go all the way. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure... I'm trying to correlate between information and the map. Fire Gigas. So you can't throw on the Gigas word. Especially when you're going to be a pushover. But he did hurt me. He hurt me. Alright, Hilara. Nice. Antidote. Is that on the list of things that I want? I think so. I think there's the room. Oh, yeah. 7,000. The ice brand. Apparently, that's like a really good weapon, especially for this place. And then we can head on straight till morning. Fuck! <laughs> just, that's... I mean, that trick is used sometimes in the Final Fantasy games, like... Maybe two or three times throughout the game. You might, like, come across a chest where you have to fight a battle before you can open it, or when you open it, or whatever, but... This game just has a hard-on for it. Just loves that concept. Right, we got a flame shield, and some more money. Boom! Give it to him. I mean, I... Like, thieves really... I guess they can use anything, so maybe I should give it to... The thief instead? Um, but I try to equalize their combat potential. Even though his attack is 29. That seems abysmal. Uh, let me just see. Oh, he cannot use the ice brand. It's very... Specifically for warriors. All right. That's what I like to see. All right, let's see how the ice brand does, shall we? Pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right, B5. Oh my god, the map for this looks crazy! Wow. It's... It's really cool looking. Um, there's a section west of you to find a flame mail. And then we just have to go southwest to go to the boss. Alright. Oh, those sexy minotaurs are back. Stupid sexy minotaurs. Ooh, look at those numbers. I like to see that. See, the thief is surprisingly powerful regardless of the weapon, so I guess that is good. Um, the thief is meant to be the DPS thing. Um... But, I mean, the warrior can really hold his own, so. I don't think I would, I don't think I'd be screwed if I had two warriors. Take that, stupid fire lizard. Oh, the red dragon ambush, starting with a blaze. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
spells do not get redirected like attacks do. Whew. Boy, I thought he was going to be way tougher. Wow, that was scary. That was really scary. Jesus. Uh, all right, well, this isn't good. Okay, okay, let's let's calm down. Let's calm down. Use those Phoenix Downs. There we go. Whew. Ah, the Flame Mail, yeah. Everyone else just uses armlets. They love it. They ain't got no clothes. All right, well, that was the scariest enemy in the game so far. And the walkthrough doesn't even mention it. Crazy. Soon. Very soon. Miss. Whip. Alrighty. So let's, uh, let's top everybody off here. Close enough. Save. Good. Do it. Here we are. So you are the ones who defeated the Fiend of Earth and roused Merilith from her slumber. Uh-huh. Huh? The power of the burning flame is mine and mine alone. Those who would oppose me shall burn in hellfire. Oh. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Merilith. That sounds familiar. Let's see. Uh, sure enough, it's from Forgotten Realms. <laughs> they are a type 5 demon, and they look exactly like that. Very interesting. Damn, I did not know this was inspired so much by D&D. And, it, I mean, the Merilith goes back to, like, 1974, so... They were part of the original D&D set. Um, and they look like that. There's a picture from the original Monster Manual you can compare. Although there are tits. <sighs> Final Fantasy. You shameful bastards. Alright. Uh, I guess let's give uh, some, some of that. And what does he recommend the Black Mage use? Uh, Blizzara? Yeah, since we don't know Blizzaga, and she's resistant to Fire and Thunder, I guess Blizzara's good. But I'm actually going to haste Mang, because I think he could do uh, impressive amounts of damage. Just throw a cure on yourself, Blizzara. Um, okay. Merilith has 1,440 HP. Should not be a problem. Probably the longest fight so far, though. But I'm not sweating it. Ugh. 
the thief is is really just worthless. <laughs> oh well. Fyra. Not bad, not bad. The dragon was a little scarier, but okay. And yeah, you just pretty much keep the uh, the, the routine up. Nothing too crazy going on here. Our black mage has magic for years. go really really low XP bonuses um, from fighting these bosses and I expected way more yeah do that dance do that dance And the Hellfire Chasm opens up. Alright. And let's warp out. So our next step is getting an airship, surprisingly. Very randomly. Um, and in doing so, I guess we're going to the Cavern of Ice. Huh. All right, well, uh, I have to head back to Crescent Lake, head back to our ship, and uh, we'll be moving on. Um... We have two crystals down, two crystals to go. Um, I don't know if we're like at the halfway point, um, but the game's not massively long, it seems. Uh, I feel like most of the length comes from just like, I don't know what to do or where to go, so I'm gonna spend eight hours wandering around. Um, but. It's all good. We know where to go. My name is Mang. Game watching has been Final Fantasy. And I'll see you fine folks in the next part.